Can you answer 10 easy questions about Miss Fisher's murder mysteries? Well, come on now. It ain't much of a mystery, is it? I'm sure you can. Question one. What is the first name of the Honorable Miss Fisher? And yes, we spelled honorable correctly. Argue in the comments if you wish. Friny. Friny Fisher. Miss Fisher, if you please. Question two. She has recently returned to this Australian city. The best one in the country. Melbourne. Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. Or Melbourne, if you're wrong. Question three. She soon finds herself with a new companion. This former lady's maid. Dorothy Dot Williams. I wonder if that's companion in the doctor sense or the other sense. Question four. Miss Fisher makes herself at home in this famous seaside suburb. Home to a long-suffering football team. St. Kilda! God, that house would be worth so much now. I don't want to think about it. Question five. Phryne can't seem to help running into this detective, Inspector. Jack Robinson, at your service. I'm a cop. ACAB or something. Question six. Jack is assisted by his faithful constable. His, uh, ready to his Stottlemyre, if you please. Hugh Collins, which as far as I can tell from my boys in the lab, is not a pun or an insinuation in any manner. Question seven. Ish Fisher has returned to Melbourne to ensure this certain someone stays in jail. Murdoch Foil, because a Murdoch deserves to be in jail and he's a foil to her, get it? Question 8. And this is because Murdoch Foil is responsible for this terrible event. The Grammy, the death of Phryne's sister. Dun 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 dun. Question 9. Phryne's sister and her eventual wayward ward share the same name. Which is... What's that name? Jane! Bit of a plain name, Jane, isn't it? Question 10. Miss Fisher immediately befriends these cabbies and ex-diggers. Diggers is slang for soldier. Bert and Sess. Helpful chaps, if you please. Handy with a grand. Or the yeah, self-loading rifle. I don't remember my history very well. But do you remember your history of Miss Fisher's murder mysteries well enough to get 10 correct? Let us know in the comments below! And then come back because there'll be more questions on Wednesday. There's always more questions. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye, bye, bye.